Hello everybody and welcome back to the Path of Exile casual mapping series. We are continuing on our journey through the Atlas of Worlds. We've made it up to uh, around tier 14, mostly into tier 11, 10, or 10, uh, 11, 12, and 13 for the most part. Still kind of working our way up into those tiers there. Uh, we need, I do need to go back to King's March. I'm trying not to do, I'm trying to save up some things to do before I get on camera so that you guys can kind of get a status of how things are going with the Settlers League Bad stuff. News. Been sending, uh, before we get too far into the video, I'd like to encourage you to like the video to help it spread out to other people, as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can, uh, try to move our way towards that, uh, next mile post of 10,000 subscribers. That can only happen if you guys actually press those buttons, so please be sure to do that. Um, been working on getting shipments and things out. I uh, had a nice shipment here come in that has a bunch of currency in it. Let's see what we got out of this one. This one had a little bit more, um, so from what I understand, when you ship out, oh, when you ship out bars and stuff like that, you tend to get items back, and when you ship out, uh, goods like the, like the food and stuff like that, you're gonna get currency back for the most part. So, this shipment had a mixture of bars and currents, bars and, uh, and uh, wheat, I think. So I got some a mixture of currency and some items back. So let's take all of that as much as we can. We'll run over to the uh, we'll run over the chest here and get rid of some of this stuff. Finish collecting all of our items, and then we'll hop into a few maps. I don't think any of these are going to be useful for what I need to get done. Yeah, mostly need a lot of chaos resistance. I think. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go over to this guy here, sell off to make room for the rest of the stuff we need to pick up. Alright, let's go grab the rest of this stuff over here. What do you need? Do a quick rundown after we're after we grab all of this stuff, just run through all of the different things that we have going on. I need ore gourd. Do I have enough I've, I've finally started planting yeah, okay. So I need to finish this off with some ore gourd. So let's go ahead and do... They want 600 to finish this off. So I'm going to send them 600 with 1,000 rune dust. Apparently this makes... This increases the quality of your sail and gives you a little bit more back. So I'm going to have this ship go over here with some ore gourd to hopefully finish off this contract. I'm trying to maximize the bonuses that I'm going to get out of all of this stuff. So uh, sometimes I'll overship a little bit just to get a little bit more stuff back. But uh, I'm really trying to focus on the items that they have for sale here. Uh, what do we have in the way of petrified amber? I can... I can't... I'm not going to be able to fulfill that. Bismuth and wheat. Bismuth. Um, how are we doing on wheat? I could, I could probably actually do the, completely do this. So bismuth they want 1300. And wheat they want 2100. And I'm going to send a thousand... I'm, I'm not sure... I'm not sure... There's like a, there's like a, I think what you, I think what you're trying to do is, is you're trying to make it so that you're putting the minimum amount in to get the maximum amount of the bar up here. Because risk, from what I understand, oh, the higher the risk, the better the rewards you're going to get, I think. And it seems like a thousand, let's see, I'm just going to do a thousand. Seems like a thousand puts us right up in there. So we're going to send this off to here and hopefully we come hopefully they come back with some really good stuff um i currently have my disenchanting up to rank six i have my recombinator up to rank five we have our mining area up to rank 10 but i think i'm actually gonna go i think i'm gonna actually go ahead and upgrade this i'm trying to upgrade my mining as much as i can so that they hurry up and get things mined out uh, increases the speed, and it also makes it so that when I find ore, I get more ore. Because you see where it says 25% increased ore found in areas. So I generally want to upgrade my mining as much as I can. So that way, when I find things, I get more out of it than than I would otherwise. Uh, farming, we have this up to rank 9. I would like to get this up to where we have 6 plots. I do have uh, I do have 5 right now, but uh, we got a little bit of work to do before we're going to be able to get to that. Uh, the town itself is up to rank 7 at this point. I need more Varicium ore. I'm not really too worried about upgrading the town that much. Hail. So I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I think I want to upgrade this to... Well, hold on. How much money do we have? Go make some well, I'm not going to know until I talk to what's his face. Uh, let's go talk to Hail. this guy. Manage the town. We'll add some... Oh. That will do I, nicely. I forgot to put money in there, so I wonder how long that's been sitting there all night. Damn it. 
I hate when I do that. Um, okay, well, I could update, I could upgrade this, but I'm not going to have enough money left over for operations to happen. So anyways, that's the status of the town so far. And now we have a couple of shipments going out. They're going to take several hours to get done. So there's not much I can, much, not much else I can do with that. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, I decided to remove the, re remove the background removal from my camera setup because it drains resources off my graphics card and I feel like I've been struggling with that. So hopefully a lot of the graphical lag that comes from my camera, from my face, like sometimes the audio and stuff gets unsynced. I'm hoping that's gonna go away. I've narrowed this as much as I can to remove most of my personal background, uh, but uh, so I don't think there's anything in the background that anybody's gonna be able to see that's gonna make that big of a difference in anybody's opinion. Uh, I finally did get the uh, map stash tab in addition, and I also got this, I also got uh, this fragments stash tab. I had the currency and the essences for a while. So now I have uh, all of these stash tabs available to make my life a little bit easier. Oh, I need to sell, I need to sell this stuff. Yes, I need to sell this stuff and get it all put away. It's kind of annoying that they don't have a rune af affinity. I have to make sure I'm manually on the, the right one. All right. Anyways, so yeah, I have the map stash here. I literally just bought it, so it's going to take me a little bit to get used to the way that it works. Um, right now, Dodge let's slayer. see. What does he have? He hasn't updated any of his stuff since yesterday. Um, does okay. he have any missions available? He does, but I'm, I don't know that I'm comfortable trying to do a, four, a tier 14 mission. Inhabited by demons, rare monsters, minus to resistances. Ah, uh, this might actually be pretty doable for me. This one might actually, and it's corrupted, and yeah, it's corrupted, so we should complete it. Uh, oh, I've already, con I've already finished this one though. I've already finished that one. Um, I've already finished that one. <sighs> okay. Um. So let's go back to our map stash tab then and see if there are any red tier maps that I haven't completed yet. Does this, oh, it would be nice if it told, if it, <laughs> it would be nice if I could hold alt here and, it, oh, it does tell me. Okay, Atlas bonus complete. Okay, so it does pop up. Okay, cool. So I don't have to hold anything, it just tells me. So we can just, we can just fling our way through these and it'll tell me which ones are done. So we've complete. Okay, so we've completed. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry that you guys are having to watch me go through this. I literally just bought this because uh, I saw that this, uh, the sale was on. So it's going to take me a second to kind of figure this out. So, all right, we finished those two. So we need to do the museum, the geode, and the courthouse map. And for this one, we have to, it has to be corrupted. So let's take that one. We'll. So hold on a second. Is it? Does it have to be? Is it just that it has to be? Corrupted? Corrupted rare version. Okay. I, I thought so. I thought it had to be. Okay. I just had, had to double check and make sure before I start. I've been ways I've been using those. <laughs> I've been I've been making them rare. I've been making them rare because I assumed that you just had to add the vowel orb to it, but I just was 100 percent sure on that. Cursed with elemental weakness. I think that should be doable. And then we have to put a thing on here to do that. Put this in the map. And away we go. All right. Sorry it took so long to get into that. I wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to see where the settlement was and also that I got the stash path finally. So that's going to help out a fair bit. It was getting it was getting very cumbersome trying to manage my maps manually the way I was. I mean, I had a system that was sort of working, but it was just it was a pain. It was a pain to have to deal with it. So now I just need to figure out. I guess I just need to be looking for anything that has uh, anything that has a three on it, and make sure I go in there and trade those up into bigger maps. Uh, there's always something in the way. Terrain is the bane of my existence. I did not mean for that to rhyme, it just kind of worked out that way. Alright, so like I said, I generally try to go around the edge of maps 
just so I can kind of get an idea of where the where the map goes. Then I can. Uh, then I can work my way through the middle of it. Got to make sure I pick up as much gold as I can so we can afford to upgrade things. Um, this is called the casual mapping series for a reason. Uh, I am trying to be relatively quick, but I'm not trying to be super hardcore quick about it. We're running through this stuff and I'm mostly just trying to gather materials. I'm just trying to, you know, make reasonable progress through maps. Um, I have no intention of impressing anybody. I'm here for people who just want to see the content and aren't and just want to hang out with somebody, you know? Uh, I think most of us watch YouTube these days less to be impressed by people who are playing video games and more to just find somebody we like to watch. So, hopefully you like to watch. Alright, let's kill this guy here. Ideally, I can just stand here and let him, let him pound on me and it's not a problem. Sweet. We didn't get any maps out of that one, which kind of sucks, but uh, at least we got the geode complete. I can't do this just yet. Dread Maul. Dread Maul. Okay. Um, I have been working on... I'm focusing... I, apparently, we have. I have two Atlas trees of, available, but... Uh, hold on. I continually get interrupted. Apparently, I have two Atlas trees available, but I'm, I'm only working on one right now. And I'm working on heists and strong boxes. I've already gotten all the strong boxes I can get. So at this point, I'm just kind of working, and also higher tier map chances. So at this point, I'm just kind of working my way over to this guy over here. Um, if I see any more, let me see, higher tier. Ugh, can I get, seriously, can I get like, um, just a, like a second? All right, so higher tier. Doesn't look like there's anything else on the way over here, so it's mostly just going to be working my way up over here to try to get to these guys there. Uh, well, it would help if I actually clicked on something and actually made that go. That's also a thing. Alright, so we'll hop out here, we'll finish going around the edge of the map just to delineate everything, just to see how much we have left to do. Grab as many of these guys as we can along the way. And we'll just kind of spiral our way in. It is absolutely worth your time to kill all these groups of monsters because every single divine that I found so far has come out of a large group of small little one, small little trash mobs like this. I have not found a single. I have not gotten a single divine off of a like a bigger mo off, of, off of a bigger monster. Now, that, that, I'm not saying that the statistics are making it more likely that's going to happen. I'm just saying that divines will drop off these guys, so it's worth it to go after them. Of course, I don't do any trading, so I don't know how how uh, <laughs> I don't know how uh, how valuable those are going to be for me. But I'm just saying everybody's looking for divines, right? So every single one that I found so far has come off of a group of trash mobs. Not no bosses, no no yellows, no nothing. Just tr complete trash mobs. That doesn't mean that they won't fall off of the bigger mobs. I'm just saying that for me so far, I've only found them in packs of, of trash mobs. I have to do a lot of disclaimers because there's there's always people that want to like correct me because I because because clearly you know I know I don't know too much about what I'm talking about. I can only give you guys my my uh, anecdotal experience, and that is that's how it's been working for me. So, don't ignore the trash mobs. Make sure you go through them and at least kill as many of them as you can. If they're in, like, if they're in a big group, don't go out of your way. Like, I'm, I'm wasting too much time going out of my way for these smaller, for the smaller individual guys. But definitely make sure you like run through these groups here. If you're, if you have an ability that allows you to just kind of sprint through and go, make sure you're running through as many of these groups as you can and knock them out. Looks like we've gotten most of the. Most of this is done. But like, I probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't waste time going after a one guy like that. And we'll grab this here.
I try not to stand in one place for too long. Because if I, um, most of the time, if I try, if I stand still, the damage starts piling up, and then all of a sudden I'm dead. All right, I think that's it. All right, we're we're less than 40 monsters, so I'm gonna get out of here now. So we've now marked off yet another map off of our tree here. Let's uh, let's uh, sell off the couple of things that we got that we don't need. I have too many of those already. Put all of these away. Oh, I had some. Uh, I had some of these that I needed to get. All right, let's go trade these blue ones in already. Okay, that's that. Lily will allow us to trade those. I did. I only recently realized that I had her. That she was able to do that. I kept going back to what's his face in uh, in the other in the other map. Kind of annoying. Oh, she still has it. No more blues in there. All right, let's decide which next map we're gonna do. So all of our tier 10 is done, or I'm sorry, all of our tier 11 is done. All of the 12s that we have are done. We do need to do 13. So let's see if he has any, I, I think he had a bunch of 13s, right? No, they're 14s. Eh. Okay. Let's do, uh, I guess we'll do this one then. Let's do a tier, let's do a tier 13 map. Cannot inflict exposure. I think that works. I think all of these work for me. So we'll give it a try and go. I'm a big fan of the way, of the way that I'm able to just kind of charge through packs of monsters with this build. I can pretty much just charge through a group of monsters and be relatively sure that they're dead. Um, I don't have, you don't, I almost never have to go back for them. I, I typically do because, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very impulsive when it comes to gaming. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, I forgot, okay, I forgot what this was. Never mind, that was stupid. It's a big waste of time. I, I don't, I don't, I don't typically do these. Probably should, but because I mean it spawns a bunch of monsters. Don't see anything interesting there. Uh, let's go grab some ore over here. I can't do this just yet. Blast these guys down as quick as I can. Oh, oh, as soon as I start taking damage, I'm like, I gotta get out of here. Because most of the time, I'm either not taking damage at all, or or I'm dead. So as soon as I start to see my health go down, I'm like, uh, this might be an encounter I might want to be care be really super careful on. Because, uh, yeah. With this character, you're either super tanky and not taking anything, or you have some kind of exposure to something that you don't want to have exposure to, and all of a sudden you're dead. That's, that's been my experience so far. I'm, I'm sure it means I have a gap in my defenses somewhere, but I don't. I haven't. I haven't identified where it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me pull up my defenses, and maybe somebody can tell me. Because I currently have. I'm currently. Ma well, yeah. I'm currently maxed out on all of my resistances except for chaos. Um, I had a 26, but I swapped out an item that lowered that a little bit. But it's not negative, so I would imagine it's usually probably chaos that's coming in at the last second and, and like slamming me. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess we should probably grab that. Let's try going this way then. Uh, I think it's that now. Never mind. I don't think we can go anywhere this direction. All right, yeah. So let's go back over here. We'll hop through this area here. I just do. I do my best to try to stick to the outside as much as I can, and then we can work our way into the middle. If I repeat myself a lot, it's because I'm trying to keep my I'm trying to keep myself talking so I don't end up just sitting here staring at me staring at the screen. <laughs> it's hard to like 
It's a lot harder than people think to try to be interesting while you're doing this stuff. I guess this is going to be one of those go up, go up through a bunch of stairs kind of things. So I guess we'll do these since it's basically basically spawning a bunch of monsters, which is more or less what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to kill as many monsters as I can. Get anything else out of this? One-handed sword. Strength, physical damage, critical strike, frenzy charges, area of effect, global... Yeah, okay. I don't think that's particularly interesting. Um, we'll see if we can get another one upstairs. I don't know if there's going to be any more. Oh, we got to level up. Let's see. What am I working on right now? I think I was working on... Oh, I was working on my axes. So, give me a second. Sorry, as always, I forget to bring up my... I forget to bring up my stuff here. What is the specialization that I'm supposed to have for my axe? 30% uh, 30 increased damage while in blood stance. That doesn't make any sense to me because... That doesn't make any sense to me because the loadout doesn't include blood and, st blood and sand. Now, I've thought that there was something somewhere that made it so I didn't need that anymore. There was something... I thought there was something that made it so I didn't need blood... blood it, like, it, it put me permanently in blood stance, but... I don't know what that was, and I don't remember if it was part of the tree or what. Or if it was an item I was supposed to have. Is there an item that I'm supposed to have that does that? Uh... Yeah, there was there was something I remember seeing something that was supposed to make it so that we were permanently in blood stance, but I can't remember what it was. So I don't know that I want to waste this skill, even though I'm supposed to have it on there, because this one right here is supposed to be. I'm at the point now where I'm just like trying to cherry or trying to like grab what I can. Um, so, 100% increased charge duration. I guess I should do that since I'm not sure about it. Uh, if for anybody familiar with this build, if you could let me know. I, I remember. I remember seeing something somewhere where it was supposed to, where you're supposed to pick the 30% uh, increased damage while in blood stance because there's something somewhere that makes it so that you're permanently in blood stance. Or something like that. I, I just I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what it was. I don't think it's any of these um, specialty nodes. I don't think it's any of the specialty nodes. So I don't know. Yeah, if you could let me know, if somebody could let me know what that is, because I don't see any of the stuff I've picked so far highlighting to let me know that and the gear that he laid out for the gear that they laid out for their for their uh build doesn't say anything about blood stance either so and the, and it, it wouldn't be an issue if if the end game gem layout included blood and sand as part of its layout but it doesn't so i'm confused i'm confused Thirst for blood. I apologize if this is making it... Uh... Yeah, alright, well... I would really like an answer to that question, but I'm not going to find it here by myself. So just let me know Let me know what the deal is with that, for, for anybody who might know what that is. I remember seeing something about... Something that made it so that we didn't need blood and sand anymore to be in blood stance. And I just don't remember what it was. Alright. 
Just trying to keep my buffs up as much as I can. My buffs and my debuffs. Um. I mean, I'll take those when I can get them. What is this? Splinters. We have 3,000 remain. I'm going to take this sword just because, why not? And then I'll take that, and that's good. All right, cool. Continue going around the edges here. I am going to grab these lock boxes as soon as I find them. They're strong boxes, sorry. Strong boxes as soon as I find them, because I've been investing heavily in strengthening those. Because I like being able to just run by a box, open it up real quick, have a quick uh, quick group of monsters pop out, kill them, grab some loot, and move on. Don't like closed-in spaces like this. This build is not designed for that. Unset ring. Did I grab this? Did I kill everything from over here? I wouldn't show. I opened the box and then I wasn't really paying attention after that. Let's uh, let's run back over this way. All right, there you go. Die. You guys die, please. There we go. Uh, let me make sure there's. I'm pretty sure that this is just going to be a closed off room. All right, cool. So let me run back over to the stairs. over to there. Okay, ideally, we'll be able to blast through all of this stuff as quick as possible. Well, it's always going to be as quick as possible. Hopefully we can do it very quickly. Get this charged ritual done. Oh. stand here and let things run up against me. So that's where I run into the problems. When I stand still, all of, a, all of a sudden my life starts going down, so I gotta be very careful about that. I get a little complacent. Finally pick up the... Wasn't there a... Am I missing something here? Okay. That was the fourth one, right? Did I not kill everything? I'm confused. I'm super confused. That would have been the fourth one. What? Yeah, okay, so I'm still stuck in here. What am I... What am I missing? That was annoying. Oh. But of course, and these guys are able to kill me. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, yeah, I don't think... Uh, I'm gonna grab that. And I don't think... I'll grab that. Nothing else here looks particularly interesting. I mean, I probably should just take whatever I can afford, but... Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. We have... We have other things to get... We're, we're almost out of time for this video, so I gotta hurry up and get through this. All right, here's our boss. But I really hate movement impairing effects. I really, really don't like them. And I'll tell you why. I know a lot of people don't have a problem with them. I don't like them because it's, I don't like them because it it leaves everything completely in the hands of luck. Your skill doesn't. Your skill does not matter. If you get frozen and enough things hit you, you're just done. And there's no, you have no control over that. So it's just, it's super frustrating when that happens. 
All right, I think that's going to go ahead and do it for today. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did Greetings. to help the video spread. Subscribe to the channel to help us reach that cool 10,000 subscriber mark. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, we do have memberships, so go check those out as well. Or you can just leave YouTube's version of it with the thanks button. Really hope you guys are enjoying the adventure so far. Be sure to come back for the next episode, and I'll see you then.